greatest need for us now is not more education because we have it. The biggest need for humanity is not more technology because technology has actually done more harm than good. The biggest need today is revival in the church. Revival is needed because the church has almost become an entertainment center. Revival is needed because the church has almost become a fashion parade. There are people that when they see a new style of cloth, they want to use it for church. Revival is important because Christians have become political in their dealing with other Christians. We need revival. Revival is needed because everyone has become too comfortable doing the wrong things. Revival is needed because we are in a generation where illegality has been legalized. Revival is needed because we are in a season where if someone, listen to me, if someone ungodly makes money, even Christians applaud him. Revival is needed because prosperity, finances, which is okay, has become the order of the day. People now become Christians because they want of what they want from God, not because they want God. Revival is needed because the te- what we call testimonies today are nothing but problem solving. If two people come out now and one of them say, I did a business, I did a contract, and I made so, so million dollars, so, so hundreds of millions of naira, and somebody has come out and say, I was smoking, now I've stopped smoking. We applaud the first and we ignore the later. David got to that point where he asked God the question. With the way things are going, with the way our life is going, will thou not revive us again? Will thou not? He said that we may rejoice. True joy, true joy is restored when revival shows forth. True joy is not joy in your wealth. It's not joy in your money. It's not joy in your office. It's not joy in your position. It's not joy in your connection. True joy is not joy in your education. True joy is joy of salvation. The joy that knowing that you know God. Knowing that you know God. Am I talking to somebody here? He said, let not the rich man, Jeremiah 9, 23. Let not the rich man glory in his riches. Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Let not the strong man glory in his strength. If any man must glory, let him glory in the fact that he knoweth God. Revival is the biggest need of the church today. The early church were in the upper room agonizing. But the end time church are in the supper room organizing. The early church were in the upper room agonizing in prayer. But the end time church are in the supper room organizing in comfort. We need revival. We need revival. The Bible says in Psalm 63 from verse 1 to verse 2. The Bible says, oh God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee, my soul tested and my flesh longeth. Revival is a yearning of the soul and the panting of the flesh. My soul tested and my flesh longeth after thee. In a dry and testy land where no water is to see thy power and to see thy glory as I've seen thee in the sanctuary. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? We need the outburst of revival. We need the outburst of revival. Abacal chapter 3 verse 2. We need the outburst of revival. He said, I have heard, O Lord, I have heard, I have heard thy speech. O Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, revive thou. In wrath, remember mercy. The cry for mercy is the bedrock of revival.